Hey loves, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Be Tarot Aquarius. This is going to be your daily vibration for Sunday, January 8th, 2023. Roles can be reversed, but five transposed, all are welcome here. Anyone with Aquarius, someone rising, North Node, and Jupiter significantly in their chart, there could be a word in this for you. Definitely. Only take what resonates and leave the rest behind, Aquarius, okay? So let's see. What's the daily vibration for Sunday for Aquarius Holy Spirit? It's about 2.30 in the morning, Aquarius. This is the nightly news. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Aquarius. Clear and accurate messages for Aquarius, Sun will rising, North Node, and Jupiter. We have the high priestess here. Aquarius, um, I feel that this is a time of rest for you. I feel that the more rest you get, the more downloads you will receive. Something is definitely transforming and changing within you and outside of you. I feel the Spirit God Source is giving you a gift, showering you with love. I feel that you're going to come out on the other side of this energy, feeling really, really good with the sun peeking out out of this Ace of Cups. There may be some brand new love coming towards you. Brand new love from within you and outside of you. So again, Spirit God Source is showering you with the abundance of the greatest gift of all. Love. It's happening within you, Aquarius. There's something shifting and changing within you. And this is so easy for you to receive. Okay. I feel the energy that some of you are very frustrated. It's like you feel that you should know more than what you know. And the thing is, um, again, I feel that spirit is asking you to have patience with yourself through this transition, um, the, through this metamorphosis. There are new beginnings here for you, Aquarius. You have three aces, the three of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, I'm sorry, the three of swords, the ace of pentacles, and the ace of wands. The bottom of the deck, you have the hermit. Some of you, you feel as though, so what I'm getting is some feel as though they're all alone. Some of you, you don't even go out much. You stay in, you stay to yourself. You truly are a hermit. In this space, like I said, I feel that some of you need rest. And the more rest you receive, the more downloads you will receive, the more healing you will receive in your body, in your mind. Um, I also feel the energy that something's got to go, okay? So I feel like clearing out clutter is super important, Aquarius. Clear out the clutter. Now, this could be cluttering your home. Cluttering your mind, cluttering regarding what you're thinking about. You may have a lot of different ideas or a lot of different um, things that you are dedicated to, but um, something has got to go. So I feel the spirit is saying, clear your mind, clear your space, fun sway, open the curtains, let the sun in, open the windows, sage your home. For some of you, I feel that you are being asked to stand in your authentic truth. Stand. It's time to show yourself. Show the true blue you.
with the Queen of Swords here, the Five of Swords, and the Hermit. I feel that um, some of you, you may be overthinking, okay? That's what I want to say. Overthinking your next moves. Overthinking this new endeavor you want to achieve. Overthinking um, about, I don't know, people. There's an energy here that um, quieting your mind is going to be super helpful, okay? If I'm saying this right. There's a huge change that is happening, Aquarius. There's also an energy where you have to speak up for yourself. So you may be contemplating how to say something to someone, how to make amends with someone, how to forgive yourself and others. As a fixed sign, it's really hard to do, isn't it? It's really hard to... Not, it's not hard to forgive. It's hard to forget and let it go. I feel like what spirit has for you that is coming up here, um, it's all about believing in yourself, that you can achieve the greatness. The greatest gift of all is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing Whitney Houston. I found the greatest. Love of all inside of me. And if, oh, and if I, I don't know. I'm hearing that um somebody didn't mean it. If they could take it back, they would. I don't know if that's you or someone else. But something was unjust, something wasn't fair, somebody lied, somebody told little white lies that added up to a big lie, okay, and I feel like um, someone isn't speaking, okay, to you, it could be a Virgo, or it could literally be um, any fire sign, any water sign, any um, pentacle, okay, any earth sign, but we do have the three of cups here, which talks about a reconciliation. Some of you, you just need to go out, okay? Go out. Like I said, let the sun shine in. Open the windows. Go out for a walk, all right? And get some inspiration from Gaia. Okay, can we clarify these cards? Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to send you a message. They want to communicate with you. I feel like someone... I feel like someone feels you ran away from them or you feel like someone ran away from you and they just closed the door behind them. They didn't even say anything or this is how someone feels about you, but you still have a, um, a connection. You do. You have a spiritual connection to this person. All right. But it's frustrating. It's frustrating. I also feel the energy that, I mean... I don't know who this is for, but I feel like someone is training for the marathon or they're going through some type of training when it comes to this uh, transformation. It takes you doing some kind of routine over and over and over and over again until you get it right. So for some of you who are practicing um, speaking to your ancestors or someone who is practicing um equilibrium, someone who is practicing working out, someone who is practicing how to speak to people, um, how to move forward, how to get what they really want. It all begins with you practicing and being patient with yourself. I feel that your self-reflection and um, taking regular naps, getting rest, pouring into yourself, self-care, self-love, you're on the right track to forward movement and success. Let me get something else here, Holy Spirit, please, for Aquarius. So tomorrow you may receive a whole lot of messages, and these messages could be 
from someone that lied to you or that there's a disconnect from or that they hurt you or like I said they left and they didn't they they didn't say anything to you you haven't heard anything from them but maybe you're spent you're sending messages to them or vice versa they're sending messages to you there could be um a message that comes through but I feel that um there's still going to be some defense someone feels they have to defend themselves Holy Spirit, clear and accurate messages. With the Three of Pentacles, um, this is a, all about communication. It's all about working well together, a well-oiled machine. Some of you, you didn't think that you were going to get a job or you may have gotten laid off and you didn't think you were going to be able to get another job or something like that, there is an opportunity coming in towards you, okay? The message is to learn from past mistakes, put up your money, and don't overspend. Some of you, you're definitely getting some type of new job, um, but there is a message of learning from past mistakes. Um so that you'll be prepared, you know what I mean? So that you'll grow and you'll do something different is what I'm getting. The next card we have here is justice. So everything is going to work out fine for you. Like I said, there's an energy here where Spirit God sources want you to take control, okay? Control of you, the greatest love of all. It's easy to achieve. Whitney Houston song, it's easy to achieve. The greatest love of all is already inside of you, Aquarius. So there's this energy of magician here, although this is justice. Um, you can manifest what you want for yourself by um, doing the right thing for the right reasons, is what I feel. Now, somebody else outside of you, remember roles can be reversed for flop chairs, folks, because I keep getting these messages. Um, and if the message is not for you, then don't take it, okay? But you have three new beginnings here, all right? And they can all be built up and gain momentum, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful for you. The thing is, you must choose what you want to put your energy into. It all begins with you. I feel that some of you are looking for clarity from your spirit guides, from your intuition, from your guides, okay? You are going to win at any cost, and that's what you want to do. It's like, I want to win at any cost. I want what I want, and I want it now. But spirit is saying you can have it, but... There's something about compromising. There's something about um, something turning out just right for you, but you have to believe it and you have to start doing certain things in a way that is beneficial for you. So that might be changing your routine, changing the way that you have an auto response to certain things, changing the way you um, look at things, changing your perspective about you know, how other people participate in these things in your life. They don't have control. You do in your life. You've gone through some things that have been held on to, Aquarius, and it's time for you to move on past that with the swiftness, with the quickness, and gain back control here and tap in to what you really, really want for yourself, okay? Yeah, because see, the Eight of Swords. Somebody did something that um, it's almost like I feel it's unforgettable, but um, it's not unforgivable, okay? There are two people who feel the same way. There's two people who feel like something was, they can't forget about it, okay? 
But um, for you, Aquarius, I would suggest that you speak with your guides because they're trying to give you forward movement here. And as soon as you do, as soon as you release from your heart space, you get these Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. And it's waiting for you. It's just for you. Again, Three of Cups. Oh, Three of Swords out again. So these people, you know, in the Three of Cups, there's only two people. All right? Two people feel heartbroken. Two people feel that they were lied to. We have the High Priestess again with the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. So I feel that you both could move past this, but it's, it, it requires communicating your truth, deciding to let it go. Okay, with the death card, it's like deading a beef or deading something needs to go. Speaking your truth and seeing things in a way that's going to provide you inner balance, inner peace, and realizing that this had to happen. It's a major arcana. It had to happen so that you can grow and move into this beautiful other energy where you could trust people. I feel like some of you don't even want to be bothered with people here, okay? Yeah, because you feel like people always bring drama. You feel like it's not worth it. People are petty. They're jealous. They're egotistical. But spirit wants you to see something from a different perspective. Yeah, that's what the holdup is. The holdup is that there's something that spirit wants you to see differently. Let's see what the hermit is saying. Let's see what your, your um, inner self is saying here with the hermit. Yeah, that you're beautiful and that you're powerful and that you're magical and that you're lucky, okay? That you're intuitive, that you are beautiful inside and out and that you can be courageous. You can be bold. You can be all of these different things. Yeah. Oh, King of Swords, Queen of Wands. I feel the Spirit is giving you um, this makeover. Okay, Aquarius? I feel you're more than smart, more than intelligent, more than unique, more than wise, more than a leader. Um, your beauty is going to be shining through once you go through this process here. It's like you got to work with your guides. They're trying to give you forward movement. You got to work with your guides. It's, it's like you're going to be shed in skin. You're going to be more than what you have been. Your beauty is going to shine, shine through. Your inner glow is going to shine through. You're going to be more courageous, more bold, more magical. Once you realize, like I said, the greatest gift of all, it all comes from within you. Okay, Aquarius, if that makes any sense. So tomorrow you may be working on your beauty regimen. You may be going and getting a mani-pedi. You may be um, you may wake up feeling like a whole different person. You may wake up doing some type of workout. You may wake up and um, feed yourself some type of other food or knowledge. Okay, because that hangman that we saw is the daily bread, okay? So some of you are being asked to look at something from a different perspective, but more than that, do something different so that you can get something different. Like I said, some of you, you may have um, messages, check your messages, check your email, do some correspondence. Um, your daily routine has to change. And there's also this energy of maybe going out for brunch, okay? Get out of the house, Maybe go visit a friend or at least talk to somebody on the phone, all right? Pay attention to all of the things that mean something to you, Aquarius. Whatever that is, give it to yourself. Um, there's also an energy here of making sure that you get rest, that you eat properly, okay? Um, write down your affirmations. Drink lots of water. Three of cups. Three of cups. Three of Cups. 
The Eight of Wands is coming out reversed because these cards are reversed. But then we have the Hangman. Yeah, there's a conversation that's going to be had. Like I said, and you're going to be able to move forward. You have a eight. So you're manifesting, but you got to let some things go so that you can move on. You need to move on. That's what I keep seeing. Move on from the gossip. Move on from the pettiness. Move on from the um, whatever this person has done. Don't wait. And that's another thing that I'm getting. Somebody may be waiting to hear from somebody or worried and stressed like why i haven't heard from this person yet wow they just cut me off just like that it's okay when they're ready to do what they have to do they're going to do it but in the meantime and in between time spirit is asking you to live your life live your best life you can have wish fulfillment eight of cups spirit god source is giving you the um go ahead regarding your manifestations the eight of wands with the five of wands is a three of wands. It's time to start looking towards the future. It's time to turn your back on whatever is holding you up. It's time for you to give yourself what you need. Yeah. So let's bring out a couple of oracles. Regarding the spread, Holy Spirit. So right away, we have the air sign, okay? We have, yeah, air, imagination, and then we have pentacle and respect, and we have Yule with rebirth, and then we have the ritual at the bottom of the deck here. So. Um, what I'm getting is, again, change your routine, Aquarius. Change your routine. Change the way you're thinking about it. You're headed in the right direction. You just have to let some things go. Okay? With this respect, I'm getting um, talk to your guides and listen to what it is that they have to say. With this rebirth, they are trying to give you a new way to see things and do things. It's super important that you ground yourself and have balance as well. Some of you are super uber focused on money, but instead of focus only on money, you need to focus on energy. That's what the pentacle is, energy. Some of you are doing candle magic. Um, if you are spirits saying, um, respect what your ancestors are saying to you. There's also an energy um, here to let go. You can see there's five candles. One, two, three, four, five on this pentacle, which is five of pentacles. Okay. It's saying, let go, let it go, let go and focus on what you want and not what you don't want. Don't focus on what's dead and gone. Focus on the here and now, where are you going next? You see this sign here is looking backward. You need to turn around and look forward here. Okay. And the forward um, energy is this rebirth. You see all of these snowflakes and stuff? There's rebirth here for your season. Um, your season is coming up. So what I'm getting here also is kind of know that what has happened in the past, it was it happened for you. It did not happen to you. Okay? And sometimes that's hard for us to even grasp. But that's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting here. There's also um, some type of ritual someone is doing. Okay. All right. Like I said, you could um, be lighting red candles. You could be definitely doing some type of candle magic. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't usually talk about spells. Um, but a spell was deflected when it comes to you. It doesn't mean that you didn't feel something because I feel that you did, but it wasn't nowhere near what you, um, what someone intended. And see, you see the justice card here is saying that you were protected. It's saying that whatever happened, whatever was allowed to happen, it was so that you can grow. Now, for some of you, spirit is saying, learn from your past mistakes regarding, um, magic somebody um did some type of spell before and it didn't work okay so learn from that see the two cards that came out here we have the first card here which is listen 
So this listen card is talking about, again, the high priestess is here saying, um, and we saw the hangman, right? There's something you need to see in, it's almost like in retrospect. Okay, there's something you need to know. Your spirit guides are trying to give you information on how to let go and move forward. It says people start to heal the moment they feel heard. So there's also an energy here of, like I said, there may be some conversations that you weren't expecting that come up. Um, some things are unforgettable, but they are forgivable. Okay, spirit wants you to forgive. Um Heal, speak your peace, be honest about your part, their part, look at it in a different perspective. I don't know. Let go of, you know, people who put you in these positions, okay? Or stop doing something, all right? Whatever the lesson is for you, people pleasing, over giving, over sharing, um, you know, healthy boundaries that are required, all right? But spirit wants you to move on. Okay, eight of wands, eight of cups, five of wands. You can move forward from this heartbreak and heartache, from this pettiness, and you're going to move on regardless. You have a clear, clean start with the rebirth card here, the justice here, the ace of cups, and the ace of wands. You have a clear new start. We have fives all over this board when you break it down. Eight of wands, five of wands um, it equals the three of wands, but you have this five of wands. And you have the five of swords that I saw in here somewhere. There's change, great change that is happening for you. And again, you have five, um, you have three aces, and then you have this abundance card. And it says, being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to it creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. So there is an energy here of... Um, doing things differently, right? Learning something about money, time, and energy. Okay? Like I said, the greatest gift, the greatest love of all, the greatest gift of all is already within you. At the bottom of the deck, like I said, you have this ritual. Um, there was a spell that was blocked from you. It was blocked. You see, security, it was blocked. Your ancestors are not, you see, guardian. It was blocked, okay? So I don't know if some of you may have gotten a reading about how somebody put a spell on you and they did this and they're doing this and they're doing that. Well, my cards are saying you're protected and they always say you're protected. The angels always come out for you, Aquarius. So, you know, it's mind over matter. If you think that you're going to be broke because of what someone else did, then that's what it's going to be. If you think you're going to make the same mistakes that you did in the past, that's what it's going to be. If you think you're going to be alone forever, that's what it's going to be. So begin to change your vibration. Again, the air sign here is coming out looking backward. Turn around and head to your northern star. You can get out of, you can do it, Aquarius, okay? It's not even that you can get out of. You can break free from this way of thinking, all right? Um, and with the imagination card here, I feel the spirit is saying, focus more on your creativity. Focus more on your ventures. Focus more on what brings you joy and happiness, okay? Because it's right here. It's this way. It's right here. You're manifesting this way is what spirit is saying. Go that way. Okay? Yeah. Leave the rest behind. That's what I see. Okay? And it's, you know, the message becomes repetitive because somebody needs to hear it. You're already wise. You're already smart. You're already an authoritative. You're already a leader. Okay? You're already... um a person of honor, integrity. You know how to make clear decisions for yourself because you are the seer. You know how to speak, but there is something about tweaking the way you speak to yourself and others. And so you're going through this transformation where now not only are you going to be 
intelligent and something to be reckoned with when it comes to the cerebral, cerebral plane, you're also coming out as this beauty, a beauty queen, someone who is magical, someone who is intuitive, someone who is imaginative, someone who is courageous, someone who is lucky, someone who knows how to manifest. And this may be your masculine and feminine energies here. It may be. But for others of you, this is you getting what you want. 